Greetings in Christ to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in the worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary. Today is Tuesday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time. The Church celebrates today the memorial of St. Lorenz Ruiz and Companions. Our Mass beside today is Reverend Father Louis Punsalan, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. My dear people of God, my dear friends in Christ, we celebrate today the memory of the first Filipino saint, Lorenzo Ruiz. He was executed, he died a martyr, on September 27, 1637, Pope John Paul II beatified him together with 16 other martyrs in 1981 at the Luneta during a pastoral visit. And Lorenzo Ruiz and companion martyrs were canonized saints in Rome in October of 1987. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord God, the same perseverance shown by your martyrs, Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions, in serving you and their neighbor, since those persecuted for the sake of righteousness are blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, There shall yet come peoples, the inhabitants of the many cities, 
and the inhabitants of one city shall approach those of another and say, Come, let us go to implore the favor of the Lord, and I too will go to seek the Lord. Many peoples and strong nations shall, shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to implore the favor of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, In those days, ten men of every nationality, speaking different tongues, shall take hold. Yes, take hold of every Jew by the edge of his garment and say, Let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is with us. God is with us. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob, glorious things are said of you, O city of God. God is with us. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those that know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. God is with us. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, my home is within you. God is with us. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village my dear friends in Christ this is the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ the saint whose memory we celebrate and recall today does not need a long introduction I'd like to believe that Filipinos like you and I are familiar with the life story, with the biography, with the mission, and the inspiration that the saint today conveys to each one of us, especially to the Filipinos. But before I proceed to say something more about Lorenzo Ruiz, I'd like to recall that this week, the church celebrates a number of beautiful memorials, a number of beautiful feasts. Like yesterday, September 27, the church observed the memory of Vincent de Paul, the saint of charity. Today, we celebrate the memory of Lorenzo Ruiz, the first Filipino saint 
and his companion martyrs. Tomorrow, September 29, we will celebrate the feast of the three archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. On Thursday, September 30, we will observe the memory of St. Jerome, the biblical scholar and the biblical theologian. On October 1st, we will celebrate the memory of another famous saint, Therese of the Child Jesus or Therese of Lisieux or Therese of the Little Flower. On October 2nd, we will celebrate another beautiful memorial, the Memorial of the Guardian Angels. On October 4, the memory of St. Francis of Assisi. On October 7, Our Lady of the Rosary. These are all beautiful and inspiring observances that we will be celebrating this week and next. That they and they are based in the calendar of the church. I'd like to reflect with you a little bit about the life of the first Filipino saint. I'd like to introduce the first Filipino saint, especially to our foreign viewers, because many of them, I suppose, are not very familiar with this Filipino saint, especially my friend in Malaysia. She is watching today one of our benefactors, Jenny, Jennifer V. This is for you and for the other members of your household and the others in Europe, in America, in Australia, and in many other places. One of the more famous statements of Lorenzo Ruiz is the following, I shall die for God, and for Him I will give many thousands of lives if I had them. I am willing to surrender my life. If I have 1,000 of them, I will give all my lives to God. And so today we celebrate the martyrdom of Lorenzo Ruiz and companions. How did he die? Lorenzo Ruiz hanged from the gallows upside down. From the waist up, he was submerged into a humid and filthy pit reeking with stench from all sorts of rotting refuse. Lorenzo was completely bound from head to foot with only his right hand free. And earlier, he was also subjected to water torture. His Japanese tormentors forced him to drink huge quantities of water until his belly could not hold the water anymore. And then he was made to lie on the floor and a long board was placed on his stomach. Two men were asked to step on both sides of the board. They began praising to make pressing to make water sprout violently by mouth, by ear, his nose, and other openings in his body. They repeated this barbaric act many times until Lorenzo Ruiz was close to death. A simple gesture expressing renunciation of his faith would have been enough to end his sufferings. But Lorenzo loved Christ tremendously. No amount of beating or torture could make him renounce his Catholic faith. Lorenzo died a martyr on September 29, 1637, after enduring three days of agony in the hands of his Japanese torturers. According to his biography, he was born to a Chinese father and a Filipina mother in Binondo, here in Manila, between 1600 and 1610. We are not sure of the exact year of his birth, but in the early years of Lorenzo, he was a sacristan in the parish church of Binondo, and Lorenzo led a holy life, even as a married person. 
He was married, although no document mentioned the name of his wife. He admitted before he died that he had a wife with whom he had three children, two boys and one girl. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate the memory of this first Filipino saint and his companions, let us pray for our country. Especially because this year we celebrate 500 years of Christianity in our land. On September 27, 1637 or September 29, we are not sure of the date, Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions were executed on a hill known as the Holy Mountain in Nagasaki, Japan. His body was burned. His ashes were thrown into the sea near the island of Iyo Jima. John Paul II beatified him together with 16 other martyrs in 1981 during a pastoral visit in the Philippines. They were beatified in Luneta and he was as canonized a saint in Rome on October 18, 18, 1987. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Amen. God is patient and aware of our miseries. Let us pray to Him to help us on the way of conversion and renewal. The response will be, Father, make us grow in the image of Your Son. Father, make us grow in the image of Your Son. That the Christian faithful may heed the call to faith and repentance. We pray, Father, make us grow in the image of Your Son that God may give us the courage to commit ourselves to the liberation in Christ of all those imprisoned in their selfishness. We pray, Father, make us grow in the image of your Son, that those whose hearts are empty and cold may discover happiness in the love of God and neighbor. We pray, Father, make us grow in the image of your Son, that the sick in mind or body may have permanent healing. We pray. Father, make us grow in the image of your Son. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. We pray. Father, Father make, us, make grow us grow in the, the image, image of, of your, your son. son. God of compassion and love, hear the cries of the world trapped in suffering and sin. Through your Son who makes all good things possible, we ask you for the grace to follow him always. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your martyrs, Lorenzo Ruiz and companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to, to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Lord, the fount of all holiness, Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in my memory. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, is spread all over the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop. Remember Maria Cervanes, Juan Paulo Roque, Sister Esperanza Alcazar OSB, Father SJ SVD, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters, especially those who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, all the saints, especially Lorenzo Ruiz and companion martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
Let us pray the way Jesus prayed. Our, Our Father. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our country and in our families. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh 
Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs, Lorenzo Ruiz and companions, have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from the sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ, and labor in the church for the salvation of all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has deserved and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel a fear of sickness and death, Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers. May be minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Prenademets. Be seated for a few minutes, a few moments. I'd like to greet all our mass attendees, not only here in the Philippines but also those who are in other countries. A pleasant good morning from Manila, from the Philippines. I would also like to take this chance to acknowledge and uh, thank sincerely and heartily our new friends and benefactors who just sent their contributions and donations in support of our seminarians. I got your email last night and today. I'm very happy. We are very happy and we are grateful. Maraming salamat. Thanks very much for sharing in our mission of forming future SVD priests and missionaries. I will respond to your email and I will thank you more personally. I'd like to continue to appeal to other, other faithful, other people who would like to help us please do if you can we need more donors and benefactors it's never enough for our seminarians uh, we are showing we are posting and flashing our email address in case you want to communicate personally to me and express your intention or your interest to help and we are also keeping one bank account 
with Banco de Oro or BDO with the account name Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. And the account number as usual is 000-220-191-247. If you're in the Philippines, you may send your help, your donation to our two Gcash numbers. But I suspect that by this time, it's already September 28, almost the end of the month, I suspect that they are already full because our wallet limit is very minimal. It's very small. At the beginning of the new month, at the beginning of every month, it's open again and it's ready to receive again. So again, thank you so very much for sharing with us your, 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 your resources, sharing with us your blessings, especially to our seminarians. I'd like also to take this opportunity to thank those who, those of you who greeted me on my birthday two days ago. Maraming salamat po. I turned, never mind, I was born on September 26, 19, never mind. And two days ago, I celebrated my birthday happily and joyfully here at Christ the King. To those who greeted me, sent birthday wishes and prayed for me quietly. Thank you so very much. I will also remember you every time we celebrate the Eucharist here at the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. May God send you more blessings. Amen. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer in honor of Christ the King. Of the Lord. Jesus Christ, King of Kings. Come, let us adore Him. In deepest reverence, we approach the glorious throne of our risen Lord and King, Jesus Christ, and offer Him the tribute of our homage and adoration. We adore and praise Him to whom the Eternal Father said, Yours is princely power in the day of your birth. In holy splendor of day star, like the do, Jew, I have, for, I have begotten you. Yours are the heavens and yours is the earth. The world and its fullness you have founded. You receive dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and peoples of every language serve you. For through you all things came into being, and apart from you nothing came to be. Therefore from every nation and race, people and tongue, they cry out, Hail, Christ the King. Of you the prophet said, A child is born to us, a son is given to us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. Of you the Virgin Mary was told, The Lord God will, will give in him the throne of David, his father. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will be without end. Prayer to Jesus on the values of the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, once more we gather before you, 
our Master and King, to listen to the words you spoke in the Beatitudes. We have been listening to the claymore of the world, but we now resolve to listen again to your voice in the Beatitudes. The world says, Happy are the rich. Money, money and power rule the world. But you say, Happy are the poor in spirit. The rule of God is theirs. The world says, Happy are those who have a good time. They are the happy ones. But you say, Happy are the sorrowing. They shall be consoled. The world says, Happy are those greedy for power and fame. They shall rule the world. But you say, Happy are they who hunger and thirst for holiness. They shall be satisfied. The world says, Happy are the cold-hearted and the proud. They will be dominate the earth. But you say, Happy are they who show mercy. Mercy shall be theirs. The world says, Happy are those who crush opposition with force. But you say, Happy are the peacemakers. They shall be called son and daughters of God. The world says, Happy are those who know how to deceive and get ahead by lies and cheating. But you say, Happy are the single-hearted, honest persons, for they shall see God. The world says, Happy are you when the world flatters and applauds you, for people will esteem you highly. But you say, Happy are you when they, they insult and persecute you, and speak every kind of slander against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. They persecuted the prophets before you in the same way. On Judgment Day, Lord, we shall know the true worth of every person. Then we shall not care what people think of us, but only how we stand in your eyes and in the eyes of your Father. Then we shall realize, as never before, the values you expressed in the Beatitudes. Then we shall be happy if we have carried out your commandments of love. In silence of our hearts, let us present our needs and petitions to the merciful heart of Christ the King. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.